Morgan Wade gave Kyle Richards a back rub as they decided not to comment on romance rumors following the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star's admission that she is still living with her ex-husband Mauricio Umansky seven months after their breakup. In a video uploaded by Bravo fan account at Nicolaros Jewelry, Wade, 29, was seen posing on the red carpet of Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen while placing her hand on the small of Richards's 55-year-old back. The reality personality looked stunning in a black midi dress with silver accents that glistened at the bust. Her brunette hair was styled in a playful updo while she wore dramatic makeup, such as a glossy lip and a smoky eye. With a black leather Hermes belt with a gold buckle, black leather boots, and a black suit over a patterned top, Morgan looked stylish. Since August of last year, when Kyle appeared in Morgan's music video for her song, Fall in Love With Me, which featured the two ladies pining for each other and culminating in an intense kiss, dating rumors involving the singer have been linked to her for a number of months. Seven months after it was made public that they had split up, Kyle acknowledged that she and her former husband, Mauricio Umansky, were still living together in their San Fernando Valley home. She also stated that they do go to separate bedrooms for sleep. Amid reports that she is romantically involved with musician Morgan, Kyle asserted that she and Mauricio, 53, love one another very much, and that they don't know what the future holds right now for their marriage. The reality TV star quipped that it felt like she was, in a therapist's office, during her appearance on Wednesday's broadcast of Today with Hoda and Jenna. She was candid about her personal life and her 28-year marriage. As things stand right now, we share a roof. Talking about this makes me laugh so much, Kyle remarked, before going on to say, we live in different rooms under the same roof. Fortunately for us, we have additional residences. When we are all together, it's kind of like, if he is there for dinner, great. He comes and goes. I think there were certain things that were there and then we had kind of been putting it on the back burner for a long time, Kyle said to hosts Hoda Kotb and Jenna Bush Hager while discussing how their split occurred last year. You're pregnant and you're breastfeeding and then it was working and managing the kids and you kind of forget about it, you know, then it resurfaces again, she continued, referring to their family life. And I believe that things simply reached a breaking point that I had experienced a great deal. My best friend passed away. She was speaking of her friend Laureen Shea, who committed herself in May 2022, when she remarked, I think that does change you and makes you look at things differently. I'm sure that played a significant role in it. However, you already know what you are and are not willing to accept. It's difficult because there isn't just one major issue, rather, we have a great deal of respect and affection for one another, which makes it more difficult to make a choice like that. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills 13th season showcases Kyle and Mauricio's breakup, although she acknowledged that not even their kids were aware of it when the cameras first started filming last year. This season was particularly difficult to film as, at the time of filming, we hadn't even discussed it with our girls. He wasn't really ready to share that since I have a job to share, to be honest, and I always have that I found it really difficult to sort of balance that. Then I reflected, this is pretty apparent so I am going to have to put this out there that things are not great right now. I really don't know what my future holds right now, to be honest, which is the weirdest part of all of this, Kylie said in response to a question about whether she believes there's a chance she and Mauricio would get back together that I don't really know where my future is. You know, next week, she continued, before acknowledging that she finds fan remarks, quite challenging. I have always had so much security in my life. Even well-meaning individuals ask, what are you doing? However, since you don't reside here, you are unaware of what is happening. After all this time of being married, do you think I wanted to be in this position? Really, all I wanted was to grow old with this person and be married forever. Believe me, I didn't want to be in this situation. Therefore, it is challenging to be in the public light when someone says, you were my inspiration, I understand that I'm shattering their illusion. I can understand it, at first, it even upset some of my close friends. Nevertheless, there are also a ton of heartfelt comments and remarks like, 
I admire your strength and you are inspirational to me. Morgan revealed earlier this month that she and Kyle were getting along, despite rumors to the contrary. The rumors stemmed from the singer removing TV star images from her Instagram profile. Morgan said, I am not fighting with at Kyle Richards 18, as the caption for a photo of herself and Kyle taken at her most recent performance at the Country Music Hall of Fame. Kyle chose to post the photo to her Instagram stories. In it, the couple was seen cuddling up to one other and grinning broadly, with no hint of tension in the air. Kyle revealed to Page Six last month that Morgan had deleted most of her posts in order to promote the album she was about to release. Artists frequently do that, Kyle remarked. That was meaningless. Kyle remarked in December of last year that she understands people's uncertainty about the state of her relationship with Mauricio. She disclosed that they lead a peaceful life at home with their girls and occasionally go to the movies. We are very fortunate in that aspect because we are good friends and we love each other, she remarked. I believe this is the reason why people are perplexed and occasionally wonder if our separation is actually real. I can understand, I find it difficult to believe that we are either. However, we consider ourselves fortunate in that we get along well, live in a calm environment, and respect each other's personal space.